today's topic is components of population change in this we are going to discuss about crude birth rate that is cbr and crude death rate that is cdr let us study both of them in detail the population of one region differs from other region that we know because it is totally or unevenly distributed throughout the area people can distinguish by their age sex and their place of residence so we can distinguish the people according to their ages according to their sex as well as the place where they are living some of other distinguishing attributes of population are occupation education and life expectancy so rather other than age sex and the residence where the people live we can also distinguish the population according to the occupation according to their education as well as their survival span that is their life span or life expectancy now the population growth or the population changes refer to the change in number of inhabitants of territory during a specific period of time so according to that particular time what are the changes in the population whether it is growing whether it is decreasing it particularly depends on the three factors that is the birth rate death rate and the migration this change may be positive or negative so positive change can be considered as growth and the negative change can be considered as declining in the growth of population it can be expressed either in terms of absolute numbers or in the terms of percentage so we can calculate the population growth in the terms of numbers as well as in the terms of percentage population change in an area is an important indicator of economic development so whether it is positive of or negative any type of change in the population can lead to the economic development or it can change the economic development of that particular area it can be it can be an indicator of social upliftment for example poverty can be reduced if population reduces so whenever the population is more there is the chances of more poverty why because of lack of employment because of illiteracy and because of low lifestyle but in the case of low population you can give the better education better employment and more better lifestyle there are three components of po population change first, first is birth second is death and third is migration so birth rate death rate and the migration now we'll study how do we calculate the crude birth rate or the death rate now the crude birth rate or the crude death rate is considered crude this is because it ignores the age structure of the population so this is the raw or unprocessed data and it ignores the age structure of that particular population so hence it is considered as crude it doesn't take into an account that age group in the population that is actually able to give birth so which group is capable to give birth that age group is not considered and not calculated hence it is considered as crude birth rate similarly actual birth or death rates take into account the population structure of a country birth rates and death rates will not be same for all age groups simultaneously so definitely the birth rate and the death rate are going to be different for different age groups Uh, the old people they die more precisely so definitely the younger ones they are not going to die soon so definitely the birth rate and death rate are different different to all the age groups cbr the formula for crude birth rate is total number of live births in a year by total population in that year in 2000 suppose if there is a country india so the total population in the year 2020 is something 1000 or 10000 okay and the total number of live births in the same year that is in the same year 2020 the population or the live birth is 2000 so the formula will be 2000 upon 20000 into 1000 
So this is how you calculate the crude birth rate. Similarly, the crude death rate. Total number of deaths in the year upon total population in that year by 1000. Similarly, now see, suppose uh, the death rate or the death in the particular year, that is 2020, the deaths taken place in India is 10,000. And the life death which has been again taken place in the same year is 50. So, the formula or the numbers you will be locating like 50 upon 10,000 by 1,000. Population growth is equals to present population minus earlier population. So, how you are going to calculate the growth? What is your present population? How much it has increased? And what was your previous population or the earlier population? You are going to subtract it from that. Population growth rate is equals to population growth upon earlier population into 100. So, you can also calculate it like in a percentage wise by multiplying it by 100 and dividing it by each other. Crude birth rate and crude death rate. Crude birth rate is expressed as number of life births in a per year thousand of population. Suppose in 2019 there were 3250 births in a city with population of 2,23,000. So the CBR of that particular year will be calculated as 3,250 upon 2,23,000 into 1,000. So in the year 2019, the life population or the life birth was 3,250. And of the same year, population was 2,23,000. So again, as the live birth or the live births taken place in the year 2019 was 3250 so it is going to be divided with the earlier birth which was birth rate which was calculated in 2019 and it is going to be multiplied by 1000 so you get the answer as 14.57 so the crude birth rate of that particular year is 14.57 life births for every thousand people in that city. What is the crude death rate? Death rate plays an active role in population exchange. Population growth occurs not only by increasing birth rate but also due to decreasing death rate. So even death rate is playing a major role in the increase of population or the any change, any type of change in the population. Whenever there is decrease in the death rate, that is also going to increase the population. Yes, as increase in the birth rate leads to uh, increase in population, similar to it, decrease in the death rate also leads to the increase in population growth. So like CBR, even CDR is expressed in the terms of number of deaths in a particular year per thousand of population in a particular region. So, if the same example, if we consider, if the population, <coughs> if the death in 2019, life death in the, uh, in, to, in the year 2019 is 3,250 and the deaths calculated already in that uh, particular year is 2,23,000. So, how you are going to calculate the CDR? You are just going to place the same value and same answer you will be getting for the CDR of that particular region. Population composition and population structure. So what is population composition? Composition of population covers all the characteristic of population that can be measured. So it can be measured in the terms of rural urban residents, in the terms of age, in the, uh, in the terms of marital status, sex ratio and the basis on which population can be classified to understand its characteristic. So any type of classification, distribution or calculation is considered as composition of population which can be easily measured, which can easily be calculated. Population structure. The structure of population is the overall picture of the idea we get by studying the composition of population. So whatever idea we get 
by studying the composition then we can create a structure and that structure is considered as structure of population for example age composition of population tells us about the percentage of children young and aged in the country so if the population is distributed or measured in the terms of age then you can divide it in the terms of small children so you can divide it in the terms of youngsters and the aged ones so according to it the structure will be created or a picture and idea will be portrayed population structure will give us an idea about the dependency ratio and the effect this composition will have on the economy of the country so after calculating the composition we get a design we get an overall idea and a proper population structure and because of this we can understand that how is the economy of that particular country thank you